I'd like to give the floor to Mr. Stadler for one minute. Thank you very much, President. First of all, I'd like to thank Madam Gall for announcing that the EPP will be putting forward an alternative resolution. I'd be delighted to see that, and it might be possible for me to vote in favor of that. Mrs. Gall is quite right. The fundamental rights debate, of course, is being manipulated to conduct ideological disputes. Uh, of course, that doesn't stop us discussing fundamental rights politically, but it's about ideological manipulation of these human rights uh, for political purposes. And I want to show you an example of that. It's a fundamental right to enjoy freedom of religion and belief. A lot of the proposals which are in here, a lot of them, a lot of these proposals in here, are totally unacceptable for a Catholic. This whole area of reproductive health, uh, sexual identity, gender identity for a Catholic, all these things are in unacceptable. The fundamental right to life, the most fundamental right of all, isn't even mentioned in this report. Um, if you think about millions of unborn EU citizens whose fundamental rights you're taking away, I mean, what kind of a debate is this on fundamental rights? Thank you very much, Mr. Stadler. Now we go to the other speakers. I give the floor to our colleague, Mr. Carlos Coelho, for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Reading, colleagues.